Now I'm away from my normal studio at the moment, but I just wanted to jump in and clarify the weight tolerance or the maximum weight for the Crane M3. There has been a lot of questions about that and there is a lot of confusion about that. And this is mainly surrounding the fact that Zune isn't really publishing a maximum weight. They are publishing a list of camera and lens combinations that work specifically with the gimbal that they have tested and they know that they work. Now, the reason for that seems to be is the motors are quite strong. They seem to possibly be the strongest motors ever put on a small gimbal of this size. But to keep the thing compact, there's only so much room for a camera to get in there and for those sort of arms to swing around and move around and do what they need to do. And that not only takes into account the actual size of the camera, it also takes into account the balance of the camera once you sort of get it in there. Now, most of the camera brands are listed on there. There's you know, Sony, Nikon, Canon, Olympus, and Panasonic. They're all on there. They have a list of lenses. The thing I will say is the list of lenses isn't really comprehensive. So for example, looking at the Canon M50, which is a camera I use and have recently done a video about, which I'll link that in the description down below if you haven't seen that. It's really just got the Canon lenses on there. And I know there are Sigma lenses and a number of third party lenses. I think there's a total of 80 native mount lenses for that camera. And they've only listed the ones that are Canon mount made by Canon for that camera. So I think really what you have to do is probably reasonably presume, pers reasonably presume that if you have a camera and a lens that's not listed, but if that lens is very similar to the size and weight that, of one that is listed, there is a chance that it will work even though it's not on the list. So just keeping that in mind because I know with the M50, the Sigma 30 millimeter isn't on there. Uh, but the Canon 32 millimeter is, and I think those are very similar lenses. In fact, the Sigma lens is a little bit shorter. So once again, it's not about maximum weight. The other thing you probably need to keep in mind is, although in this, in this list, what you'll see is although it will handle full frame mirrorless cameras, the, the lens list is quite restricted because now you're getting a bigger body and a different balance. So. If you are gonna start out with your phone or a small camera like the M50 and you're planning to go up to a full frame mirrorless camera, have a look at that list and make sure that you think sort of the camera lens combination that you might be looking to upgrade to is on the list. And I will link the list in the description down below. All right, just wanted to get out there, uh, that information out there and clarify that because I have had a lot of questions about it. Any more questions, just leave them uh, in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.